A major breakthrough announced today in what's being described as a, as a theory that's been in the work for decades. Scientists have been able to successfully produce a positive amount of energy from a process known as nuclear fusion. It's a big deal because it could eventually steer the planet away from fossil fuels. And the result was made right here in the Bay Area. Crowd Force Charles Clifford joining us now outside of Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory where all of this was taking place. Hey, Charles. Hey there, yes, yeah, scientists have been working for more than half a century to try to harness fusion power. Uh, just earlier this month, right behind me here at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, they made a big step in that direction. Back on December 5th, researchers here at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory fired 192 lasers at a small frozen pellet of hydrogen. Those atoms of hydrogen fused together, giving off energy. Scientists have done this before, but what made this experiment special is that there was a net energy gain. The lasers used about two megajoules of energy. When the hydrogen fused, it gave off three megajoules of energy, meaning there was a net gain of one megajoule. It's the first time this has ever been done in a laboratory. We've been trying to accomplish that essentially for the past 60 years uh, in fusion research, really internationally across the whole world with thousands and thousands of researchers involved. Hydrogen fusion is how the sun produces energy, and in theory, a fusion power plant could one day produce electricity without making radioactive waste or emitting greenhouse gases. At a press conference on Tuesday, the Department of Energy claimed that this advancement has the potential to reshape our world. This milestone moves us one significant step closer to the possibility of zero carbon, abundant fusion energy powering our society. Moving forward, researchers will need to refine the process and figure out how to generate electricity using a fusion reactor. Unfortunately, it could take years or even decades before a practical fusion power plant is up and running. All right, back live now. The lab tells me that the, in the immediate future, their plan is to try to recreate this experiment to see if it, make sure it wasn't some sort of fluke. They're hoping to do that within the next six months. But for now, in Livermore, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.